How's it going? They went to the, the classic, you know, Smashville. Exactly. Everyone goes to Smashville. Everybody. I mean, it's the quote unquote most neutral stage, so I guess. I guess so. Okay, we got, and uh, also we got Mark and Pikachu, which we didn't talk enough about. So we got two really good characters, and you're just using. I'm not sure what this uh, the synergy is, but the two really good characters, I'm sure they'll show us a couple of cool things. So yeah, right it, now we got Mark using his lane to just zone out a little bit. Yeah, each team is one one typical top tier, and the other unconventional. Like yeah, it's sort of a weird combination. I guess they probably picked Marth because of the uh, the range against Mario and Jigglypuff. It would be really significant. Right. So now we, we were, for a moment, split into two one-on-one -on -one situations. Okay, now we're back into a little uh, muddy fray right now. Oh, that was painful. Okay, Jigglypuff should be able to get back. F-Smash, Reed. That F-Smash is so good. Jilly Puff trying to search for some edge guards here, but didn't get any and almost paid for it. All right. Oh, uh, he hit his friend Marv. That's not going to be good, but, you know, they didn't get punished too hard for it. Uh, Marv still has all three of his stocks, but he is at 103%. He needs to be a little bit careful. Oh, almost that was... Almost broke the seal again. Yeah, I see what he was trying to do, but that's a little... You need a little bit more coordination for that. I mean, he almost broke it. Well, patch. He's not going to break his shield anymore. What, uh, yeah, Shield Breaker? Yeah, it's not good. Which is no, dumb. Yeah, Jigglypuff's the only character or pound didn't get nerfed. Every other Shield Breaker move got nerfed. Pretty interesting. Yeah. Alright, Pikachu should be able to come back, okay, especially with Marth uh, protecting the, the game. Exactly. The interaction between Jigglypuff and Pikachu off stage, we'll probably see a lot more of that later on. Of course, not right now because Pikachu just died. All right, Mark's doing a good job of keeping his one stock. This is going to be very important as the game wanes. Uh-oh. Yeah, he, he's uh, using his range to keep him out. Really good, nice. good, good um, recovery by um, by Mark. It ended up taking <laughs> Jigglypuff's life in the process. All right. Yeah, we are. Smash. Smash. This uh, red team really knows what they're doing. I haven't seen a single rest attempt. Yeah, they're just, they're, just, they're just not having the chance to do it. I mean, uh, they're not. It's just, uh, which you know, it might, con it might cause a switch. Um, I don't know um, if that's even. I don't know if they're picking just their best characters, or if they're just uh, a double strategy, or it's actually a strategy involving both of them. Well, there was a rest. Yeah. <laughs> didn't punish that hard, though. No, he didn't. He really pumps that 109 with one stock, so he's got to be a lot more careful. He almost died just now. So up to All right. Oh, that was that's that oh, was wow. very ill-advised, that, that rest. But he, he's lucky not to have died from that. I, th I think they're start he's starting to throw him out, maybe getting a little desperate. Yeah, yeah, getting a little desperate. That's like the opposite of what you want to do in that situation. You want to see if you can tank the stock. But now Jilly puts out of the picture, and Mario's at 144. This is about to be a bad Last day. Stock. Thunder. Oh, oh that was neat. <laughs> Up throw into and a little bit of thunder. To I think that was something they rehearsed, or just uh, that felt uh, that felt very spontaneous, but it was good. It was a nice way to end the game. Put a little uh, flavor on your up throw, you know. Do you think they're gonna stay Mario Jigs? I really hope not. Oh, Maybe yeah. the Mario, but the Jigs, like the, anything that you would think as a uh, spectator in terms of what Jilly Puff on the team would do, none of that happened. Yeah. So uh, play support, get the rest. So either he can switch a character and try a different. Um, different option strategy or maybe he after this first match he can calm down a little bit and um, I would say he might see a comeback I don't know it depends on how he feels I guess what I would say is you should you should pick somebody that doesn't get gimped easily and then somebody that can rush down against, kind of against uh, Pikachu <laughs> what are you doing <laughs> the guy making them funny faces over here like you trying to distract me or something but um one thing you definitely notice about the red team is that they uh, were, like, they, um, a good few times they were knocked off the stage, but they were able every single time, pretty much, to get back on. So that indicates a lack of um, strong edge guarding yeah, on, experience and on, on Jigglypuff and Mario, particularly Jigglypuff, because you would assume, like, that character would be the one going, trying to take advantage of that the yeah, most. Yeah, plus, if you remember, the second stock, he died. He died, yeah. He got stage spiked by the uh, of B. Yeah, like, you should expect something like that to happen. Mark's recovery isn't that, isn't that very... But, um, He's always going to go low. Mm -hmm. Which probably means, especially when you look at the way he was fighting the last stock, he was playing, he started to get a little bit desperate. So maybe you can tone that down a bit, calm down, relax. 
And it looks like that might be staying Mario objects. Yeah, I think he realized that he probably went a little bit too hard at the winning uh, moments of that game. So um, we're gonna see what happens now. Um, I want to see something cool with the Jigglypuff. Like honestly, AKA someone getting rested. Yeah, and also another thing, he was doing the rest. I didn't see Mario once come to his aid. He was usually getting punished. Yeah. Even though, again, the punishes weren't very good. It was like unspaced up smashes and like uh, I think I saw a dancing blade there. But like still, like y you know, you're if you're gonna go for a rest as as Jigglypuff's teammate, you have to be able to notice that and then react to it quickly so your exactly. teammate doesn't die at, at 30. On the flip side of that. Um, the red team did a good job of keeping everybody occupied. Usually those types of strategies where you have a Jilly Puff or a Game & Watch, you, you want to coordinate, there's a level of coordination that needs to be there, but if you're always defending or fighting off somebody, you're never going to really get that chance to do it. So opponent teams usually will, uh, how do you say, um, will try to get in there immediately and just throw everything out of whack, prevent them from really setting up anything as much as possible. And yeah. that also had a part in this game. The, the best way to play doubles is, you know, a lot of people think, oh, oh, just turn it down to 1v1s. But no, you want to make it 2v1v1s. You know, either keep them sandwiched in the middle or keep them apart. Exactly. The more you can do that, the better chance you have to win. It's almost every, it's almost guaranteed every time. Red team switched to Link. Very interesting. I... Maybe they felt like they uh, lost too many stocks in that first game. You know what? I, I think they're just playing at this point. I, I mean, not not to be disrespectful to the opponent or anything, but if he feels like he can go Link, then something's telling me he just, uh, you know, feels like he can just do what he wants, especially against a Chili Puff, who, you know, can just wall them off the stage if he wants to. I think I think they're just the range is the, range, the main reason that uh, he's uh, picking all of Marm. And, uh, the range is really important against Chili Puff and Marm. Hmm. He must be really confident that he's not going to get thrown off the stage and just, you know, just die immediately from Jigglypuff. Then again, why should he? The Jigglypuff showed no uh, interest in really holding turned up into the bar. Turned around the edge guard and uh, Blue Team loses their first stock. Yep, Jigs is still alive, but just barely. He should be able to get back on the stage. Oh, Arrow did a knee. Well, actually, he doesn't have knees, do he? <laughs> Okay, Stays good right. job, see, and that's what I was worried about, but he oh, Mario teammate. saving his teammate. That is some good teamwork. And worse off, they let him do it. They, both of them were just staring off at the stage, letting him come out there and just do that. That, that's a great, that's a teammate right there. That's a teammate. Now look at that, that upbeat probably saved Link just Yeah, now. he would have just fallen right into the up smash. Exactly, so that's, that's what I like to see right there. Like, if, if you're going to play teams, you, you have to literally play like a team. I, it's easy, you know, it's easy to say that, but yeah, a lot of times you'll see energy. team matches that are just essentially just a bunch of one-on-ones on the same stage at the same time, and that's just um, something you want to minimize. In the, oh, oh, okay, there we go. This is the second time, but hey, see that's the second time Link has just been thrown off stage and probably should have died to Jigglypuff, but he managed to get back every time. That's very telling of this match, of this set, actually. Oh, he got him this time. Great, great. He's got to keep that momentum going. I'm not, oh. I'm not sure if uh, if it's Blue Team stepped up their game or, or maybe the character switch isn't working, but they're, they're certainly doing better than they did the first game. They are doing better. Um, Jiggly, Jigglypuff still is going a little bit too hard. He's got to gotta relax a little bit because he's only got one stock. Oh. There he was. Okay, he did the rest. And he got, and his teammate jabbed him. That was great. Didn't, okay, that was, okay, now we're seeing, a little, so they, they are definitely adapting a little bit to um, the situation. They can take advantage of this link coming off the stage all the time. They might be able to pull this one out, but with two stocks on both uh, members of the red team, you're asking for a lot here. Yeah, I feel like it's happening again. If you saw that, yeah, I it mean, was Mario ran off to the other side instead of edge guarding the player on the left. There definitely is some learning there. You like, you can definitely see it, but it's way too late now. Oh, pineapples! Pineapple. Uh, my least favorite kind of fruit. It's, it's that's just not that's just not cool. I like pineapples. They're pretty good. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I actually like pineapples. But just Do they just call that pineapple because uh, the bottom of the stage looks like pineapple? Or is there a different reason? No, it's, it, that's exactly what it is. Yeah. Oh. I mean, what kind of fruit could you call it? I don't, I don't know. I have to think about it. 
So that was a quick two. Well, it wasn't a quick two zero, but it it was definitely a a strong uh, two zero showing from uh, Susan and Stretch.